it was David Jones getting the pick. And after the fourth interception, Will Fisher Colbury is out. Nick Robinson, the sophomore, is in at quarterback. Transfer from Georgia. 529 passing yards this year for Robinson, but on his first play, the handoff to Kerkin Brooks going backwards. A loss of a yard. Dylan O'Toole pursuit once again by this Cornell defense. Robinson to throw down the middle, wide open, it's bobbled and dropped. Might have been a 97-yard touchdown. The senior tight end, Nicholas Boken, who's had a career year, couldn't pull it in. Oh, uh, Boken play fake, and nobody sticks with Boken. Ball right in his hands and just can't pull it. I, I don't at third and ten. They'll sit back. Robinson taking a shot for Watson. He hauls it in. First down, Justin Watson. His 11th catch today for 153 yards. Well, David Archer told us Watson is going to get his, but the key, the key for a victory is you can't let others, and so far they've done a nice job of shutting down the other receivers. Watson comes out of his break, gets the separation. Robinson put it right on the money. And so now the sophomore Robinson, who did make a start against Brown three weeks ago, into the fire here, down one in the fourth. Robinson on the keeper off the zone read, picks his way forward. He gains 12, first down Penn, and that's the strength of his game. Penn coaches say when he's in there, it adds that second dimension of running the football. Yeah, and a really good decision that time is the running back got taken down, and he keeps it himself, shows that athletic ability, and gets the first down. Remember, Penn is the best. Robinson looking for Watson once more along the sideline. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Well, that time it was McClurge lined up against Watson, and Watson did a really nice job of shaking McClurge, getting to the outside. See the separation again, balls thrown to Watson. Watson trying to stay in bounds, trying to get that foot in. The official said his back foot was up in the air. That was close. Cornell bringing the heat and a flag. It's been a clean game. Only had three combined ball. This game has flown in the fourth quarter. Might only be a drive after this left for Penn. Crunch time for Nick Robinson and the Quakers. Well, they, take, they took the senior Fisher Colbury out. Went to the sophomore. We'll see if Robinson can lead Penn to a victory. Robinson's dad played quarterback at Pacific. His uncle's Greg Robinson, the Super Bowl winning defensive coordinator with the Broncos. Robinson bobbles the snap. It's a broken play. Trying to create, he has to just throw it away to set up third and 15. And now there's a flag out in front of the Cornell sideline. Interesting. Between second and 20 and third and 15. Robinson on the screen pass. Here's Kerkin Brooks. Had a big day. And Brooks gains the penalty yardage plus five more to set up third and nine. Well, the defensive line for Cornell, they had no one touch them, and that means watch out for a screen. You can see big 94 trucking in there, dumps the ball off, and picking up 11 yards was Brooks. Big red drop back. Robinson with all day, fires a strike, first down. He goes back to Nicholas Boken, and this time the tight end pulls it in. And keeps the drive alive. 13-yard gain on his 20th catch of the season. He had just five catches his entire career coming into his senior year. Timeout, the Big Red have taken this half, so they're left with just one. That could come up large if Penn ends up scoring on this drive. Option play for Nick Robinson, and look at him twist his way forward for a big gain. Nine yards on first down. He's looked very good in his first series of this game. He really has fresh legs. It was an option, but there was no option in Nick Robinson's mind that he wasn't keeping that ball himself, picking up nine yards. Replaced Will Fisher Colbury after Fisher Colbury's fourth interception on Penn's previous drive. Quakers have gained 497 yards. Just the four interceptions have doomed him to this point. Remember, two of those came in the red zone as well. 
Handoff goes to Justin Watson. He breaks a tackle, sheds another. What can't Justin Watson do? Can Cornell's defense come up with another big play? Screen it to Watson. Shaking a tackle, he's down past Jeswaldi. Mick Jeswaldi making that open field angle tackle holds Watson to about a four yard gain. Already the 11th play of this methodical drive for Penn with a good kicker in Soslo. They're willing to let the clock wind here. Solomon, patient running, and he's near the first down marker. Cut down less than a yard short. Third and less than one coming for the Quakers. And Holland Quest at the bottom of your screen. Robinson taking a shot for Watson. He's got it. Justin Watson down to the three with a phenomenal sprawling catch. What a hit. First by Kirk Frimmel, but give Nick Robinson the credit. Stick it in there. Put him the ball out there, and then just look at this effort. Justin Watson lays out, makes the catch, and Penn knocking on the door. 34 more yards for Watson. Just a ridiculous catch. That's why that kid will be playing on Sunday starting next year. You add 34 to his total, he's up to 192 receiving yards. Remember, we told you he needed 265 to set the Ivy record. If Penn gets well, Justin Watson is going to obviously get the credit for that outstanding catch, but how about Nick Robinson coming into this game in the fourth quarter, trailing, and puts the ball out there for Watson to catch. First drive for Robinson, he's 5 of 7 with 75 passing yards. 94 yards already on this drive. Remember, it started all the way back at the pen three. Two turnovers in the red zone for Penn already. And they take the lead here late in the fourth. Clock is ticking. And Penn in no rush at all. Solomon up the middle. Touchdown, Penn. Quakers lead on senior Trey Solomon's first two-point conversion opportunity coming here for the Quakers, looking to make it a full seven-point lead. Nick Robinson orchestrates a 13-play, 97-yard touchdown drive. Took 6.15 off the clock. Watson fakes in, screen comes to him, looking for the pylon. Justin Watson's in! Two-point conversion's good. Penn leads by seven. Wow, Justin Watson coming in motion like it was going to be a jet sweep. Stops on a dime. Robinson gets the ball to him, crosses the pylon. Here you see Watson, he was coming in motion, stopped. There's Robinson getting the ball out to him, and then just effort by Justin Watson getting the ball to the pylon for the two-point conversion. And that's his best friend, Nick Boken, who is leading the way, blocking two seniors. How about Nick Robinson? That is a gutsy drive for the sophomore coming in cold. His passer rating on that drive, 161.4, because it was 5 of 7 for 75.